Hey everyone, welcome back to the Big Tech channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a project that I'm working on. And my goal is to illuminate a small hallway that I have. There is no power outlet, so I cannot plug in a nightlight. And I don't want to have cables on the floor. So I was looking for a solution. And I picked this up from Harbor Freight, which is great. The length is just exact, and um, it's solar. So when I purchased this, I put this outside, and I left it out in the sun for most of the day, and it worked perfectly. It did last eight hours, uh, more or less, and uh, it got the job done. However, I needed to recharge it. I needed to expose it to the sunlight, and being that this is indoors, it was kind of a challenge. So what I did was I extended uh, the solar stake if you want to call it that and ran it all the way I added another 20 feet of um, RJ11 wire and I put it on the window however the light that's coming in was only enough to charge it that it may last a few hours so uh, I said to myself I need to find an alternate power source where I can power it in uh, give it enough juice that it will last and I can turn it on and off without having to worry about that, without having to take it off and having to ca carry all these cables or wires to uh, outside and have it charged. So what I did was is uh, I opened up this part right here and I'm going to show you what that looks like real quick. And if you notice, I have a car uh, a car lighter charger that I took apart and I'll explain why I did that. I even have a video that I will include. So here is the part from um, this is the solar part. So like I said before I had extended the wires and added another 20 feet so I can get enough um, of a length that I can put this by a window and charge, but it wasn't enough. So I took this apart and I said, I have, you know, I want to see what setup is, is what kind of uh, setup they have. And when I opened it up, to my surprise, you have a double A battery here, which is 1.2 volts. So this is a rechargeable 600 milliamp battery. Uh, this is the solar panel, and then I guess this goes in and charges and. Uh, this is what powers the battery. So it has a switch and the switch itself the switch itself has two modes. If you put it on C, this is what you see. You'll see the LEDs light up, which is, you know, pretty cool. And if you put it in B, they blink. Not sure why. Maybe that's for Christmas. I don't know. So then, and you have to off, off position. So now, when it's on C or B, and it's getting sunlight, like right now, see the light is bright, it'll shut off and it'll charge, which is great. I love that. However, I'm willing to sacrifice that if I can just have power going to it from a power supply. The other challenge was finding a power supply that was 1.5 volts. So I had to figure out that I would need to find the right power supply and then add a resistor because the lowest they come is 3 volts and um, I have a few power supplies that I have lying around like this one here was from an old router and this is a 5 volt 3 amps and I still need to get that 1.2 volts because I can probably put 3 volts through these LEDs but that's gonna make them run brighter and it's gonna uh, decrease the life of the LED so we don't want to do that um, I had to do a little testing I realized that even though the um, the battery here says 1.2 volts I've tried connecting the resistor with the power supply and even though it was putting out more voltage I guess the resistor itself wasn't uh, allowing enough amperage to go through I'm not a professional in electronics but 
I do have some knowledge. So that wasn't enough to power it. So then I got two AA batteries and then I tried hooking up the two uh, connections to the LEDs and one of them was not enough to power up the LEDs. So then I connected two 1.5 volt batteries in series and then they lit up. So it took at least minimum three volts to power up the whole uh, 16 feet of LED. So something's going on in here. Uh, I'm sure you guys who are professional or have more knowledge in electronics would know what's going on. And there's a combination of this and maybe there's a capacitor in here. Uh, something's going on which is probably doubling the, the uh, it's drawing enough current to double the power hence powering the LED. So what I decided to do was I decided I have a 4 volt um, power supply and what I did was I connected the positive and the negative and let me uh, rephrase I said previously that the positive here was the one with the white stripe normally that's the case but in this case uh, the clear cable is the, the positive and the one with the white stripe is the actual ground so I soldered them together and then I put some heat shrink and I uh, melted them down to secure the connection that way it won't contact I'm just gonna put uh, some a little bit of black tape and, and put that around I don't have a uh, heat shrink the gauge uh, for this so this is what I'm going to use and then when I plug this in from the power supply which is great I have enough to run it anywhere I want and not have a mess of wires so when I plug this in it should there you go there you go simple as that so all I had to do was cut off the stake the charger which is this will probably be safe for another project um, cut this off and then I had this cable, which it's an RJ11 from an old camera. As you can see, it has the audio and video. Those are dead, so there's no power going through that, only through the red and black. And then I connected it to the power and the ground. And that pretty much did the trick. Now I'm going to get this uh, installed in the hall. And I'm going to show you guys what I've been trying to do. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Big Tech here. And as you can see, this is what I was trying to accomplish. This is, this meets, actually exceeds my expectations. The brightness is just right. And even though right now it's only 5 p.m., it's not night nighttime yet, it's a little brighter than it was with uh, the uh, solar panel and the battery uh, installed. Of course, that's because it's drawing a solid, constant amount of power from the power supply. And uh, this, some of you may say, well, this is something you could have probably purchased somewhere on, um, on the web or eBay. And that's true, but for nine bucks, you can't beat that rope LED from Harbor Freight and the power supply that just had them lying around uh, and I just wanted something to do. Uh, I knew this could have been done so now I can turn this on and power it off at will which I would just unplug uh, and replug. I, I could put a switch in there so there you have it. Thank you, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.